Hi guys, welcome back to Tabletop and Gaming. My name is Tom. And uh, my name is Paul. And we're just walking dead. Yes. Walking dead on the best mat in the world. The coolest We've... looking mat with the coolest looking terrain. Thank you very much, Jay. Yeah, thank you. We've spent ages kind of preparing it. You'll see it in a minute. We've got like a mega battle, we're calling it. It's a yes. larger mat than usual. Bigger crews than usual. 300 point game. Yep, 300 point game. Lots of walkers. A whole ton of walkers. Goodies, paragons of virtue. Rick and the Atlanta survivors versus just like... Just the... the... the Best hits of villains. You got like Negan. I've got Negan. Governor. The governor. Derek. Derek, who's not really a villain in the comics, but the scavengers and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's going to be quite hard. I've got Michonne though. You got, you got and Michonne. you've got some really good use out of Michonne. So I'm hoping that I get good use out of Michonne. I hope you don't. I yeah, yeah we'll see how we do. I got Lucille. It's all I need. You've got Lucy. More importantly, you got Patrick with his back. That's Patrick the, the destroyer of worlds. Um, so yeah, we're going to play a 300 point battle, yes. uh, just playing objectives. Objectives are going to be worth Objectives are going to be one worth point. one point. Kills Kill, two. Killing your opponent's characters, so me killing one of Tom's yep. rather than the walkers doing it, or a bite or something, it's going to be worth two. And there's one objective. So there's the five. bag of guns, which is worth five, which is going to be dead centre of the field. Yeah. So we're going to go to our constitute lineups and back in a sec. Okay, so here are our 300 point crews for this battle report. We've got the lovely good guys and then the Axis of Evil pool. Oh, I like that. The Axis of Evil. So my crew, Atlanta crew, is led by Rick Grimes. We've got the Atlanta camp leader. He's got his pistol and his hatchet as is customary. Flanked by Michonne with her katana and lucky charm for re-rolls if she needs it. Laurie is there with a small knife because she was cheap and so was that. A small knife. <laughs> <laughs> Three points. Carl is, cheap. <coughs> Carl is there with his the lucky hat. Lucky hat, Paul, you love the lucky, lucky hat. Remember hat. Negan with the lucky I'm hat? Gonna, I'm going to wear Carl like a lucky <laughs> hat once I get all of them with Negan. He's got a 38 revolver, so I've upgraded him a little bit, so it's a white die on the shooting rather than red. Nice. And then I've got Amy and Andrea, who have their normal lineup. Andrea's got the compound bow for the silent shooting, and Amy's got gory clothing. She's probably my only decent runner. How about you, mate? When you say decent runner. Well, she's there. Yeah. Um, so... My team is led by Negan, saviour leader, as always, armed with Lucille and a grenade. WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG. And you've, uh, you've broken the rules here, but we've gone for the awesomeness that is. Brian Blake, the governor version of Brian Blake. <laughs> Negan and be, the governor. <laughs> which will be out in the pre, uh, sorry, in the Woodbury set, which is due to, the Made to Suffer set, which is due to come out next year. So a little sneak peek at how he plays sneaky here. Peaky. And he is. Awesome. He's nailed. Um, he's armed with a grenade and a hatchet. Grenades for everybody, grenades apparently. For, grenades for everybody. Um, no, not quite. I've then got uh, Derek Saviour Leader. Uh, sorry, Derek Scavenger Leader. And you're going to have a few words about that. <laughs> um, he's just armed with a metal pipe. Just because. Just some cause, people. Just goes around thumping stuff. Um, Patrick, armed with Lucy, as always. The magic bat. Yep, yeah, so that's the hardened veteran version who has a little bit of a extra extra kick. With, uh, with bludgeon weapons, I think it is. Um, and then just a couple of cheap runners. I've just gone for the basic version of Sandra the Scavenger. It's the dodgy one, though. She's really good. Uh, she's the dodgy in combat, yeah. one, not the double move one. Um, and then Craig, who's just uh, a just little there. bit of an extra character, so to speak. So he's just cheap 12-point runner, just to possibly cause some havoc and grab some objectives if I need them. So around 300 points on this gorgeous board, and we will go to the first activation of the first turn. And this is how things look at the start of the game. Now, we've got lots of objectives knocking around, Paul, haven't we? Yes. But the main one we care about on camera. <laughs> is this. This uh, bag of guns here is going to be worth five victory points. Yep. So Each got... other little supply is worth one. Yep. And killing people, Paul? Worth two. Two points. So, uh, multiple victory conditions. Basically, once the threat tracker hits 18, or if someone gets their whole side wiped out, Yep. We'll tighten it up and see who the victors are. So you've got our Atlanta survivors here, just spawning in at this edge, and your ragtag crew, Paul. The badasses. The badasses are coming in at the bottom. So, just going to roll a 50-50 die to see who starts. I will take shield. Take shields. Uh, and it is blank, so it will go to the Atlanta survivors for the first activation of the first turn. Boom. 
Okay, so my first one is going to be Andrea Paul with her compound bow because she always has the compound bow because why would you ever take her without? Reliable, she's, silent, makes sense. She's going to try and see if she can get off her kind of clinical fire and take out these two. She's going to go after poor little mall walker here who's just been through, you know, Harrods. Shopping, shopping mom. So two red and a white. Oh, I get the headshot. No point rolling Bow, bow, defense. bow. She dead. Uh, but I do need to check my ammunition. Uh, so it is a 50-50 die. I'm fine. See? And then with clinical fire, I'm going to shoot at Ronnie Zombie. Ronnie Zombie. Poor Ronalds. He gets killed in every match of Paul. And that's a headshot as well. So he shot. is dead zools off there. Very good little shot. And then she's got to test her compound bow again. And she's fine for ammunition. So that is not a bad first activation from Andrea. Most definitely not. Over to me. Okay, so my activation is just going to be aiming to try and get this objective buried over on the outskirts of the mat here. Um, and it's just going to be me run a Craig um, and I'm just going to run him um, round the corner here. Playing the objective game. So from his base, he's going to swing round there and he's going to end up roughly about there. Is there no one to hear the noise? Uh, there's no one probably that's going to hear the noise. Let's just double check. So, he ran to there. I, I suppose Reggie over there might bump into the wall, but you can't see him behind the building. He's literally just dumped into the door. But it's a relatively safe move. Mm -hmm. Tactical play by the bruisers already. Have you seen the amount of freaking zombies that are walking around? Terrifying <laughs> about here. Uh, Negan and Michonne need to get stuck in, I think. Yeah. Very straightforward little activation for me. Michonne is quite simply going to get her sprint on and leg it just short of this walker here, which will make noise. And he'll be like, oh, and go what straight in. Like? Oh, oh, and he's going to just go and investigate what the big lady of the katana is going to do to him next. So continuing with my objective grabbing, Sandra is going to run around this corner. And I've just pretty measured it at eight inches. Get uh, just beyond the dustbin down the corner. Bit. I like the bins. This is an awesome looking board. It is awesome looking board. We have uh, we have Jay to thank for all this awesome terrain. Yeah, don't we're we? totally not giving it back. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping it. Thanks, Jay. Um, and that's going to cause Zomble to. You're as, as Tom, now. As, You're to, as now, Tom says, uh, uh, to just shamble into the wall there. Still going for these objectives, Paul. Cowardly cat. Yeah, no, sorry. Wait for the bash bros. Easy one for me then. Big Daddy Rick is going to make a sprint action. Big Daddy Rick. Just short of this walker here. That's what Lordy calls Shane. Which, oh, oh. Shane. She's going to cause noise and draw this half a walker to him. So he's going to try and deal with that so he can allow Laurie and Carl to kind of move forward unassaulted. Uh, simple one for me. I'm going to get the bruises stuck in. So... Uh, Derek in his football helmet and his lead pipe going to move in to engage Z Walker. There's be a lot of walker melees in this and there's gonna be a lot of pain. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of damage done in this. There's a lot of walkers. There is a lot. Carl's gonna follow along just behind Dad. Shuffle himself to this position here, very aware of the big scary men that are on the other side of all of these trucks. One half of the bash bow with Patrick, gonna sneak up. With Lucy. With Lucy, and he's gonna search that loot there. I hear the arm out the way, and I get bandages. Oh, your favourite Your favourite. Um, yep, yeah, so I'll equip them because I, I imagine we will need them. <laughs> um, and I've scored one victory point. Whoop whoop. Again, nice little advance for Laurie, she's just gonna move. Just next to her son. Just keep an eye on him and make sure he's up to no shenanigans, you know? No late night tweeting or whatever the kids do nowadays. Kill zombies. Kill zombies. Okay, so the governor, the big man, is going to sneak around inside the car here. I can imagine what the leadership struggle's like between Negan and the governor during this. I They're think just... Lucille is the deciding factor. <laughs> she, she's honest. the boss. Yeah, yeah. But both of them, I think, can just kill somebody. They're both 70 ability. boys, they're both hefty. Yeah, the governor's really, really good. It's the first time I'm using him, first time I've had a proper look at his card, and I'm like, oh my god. Look at all the things. Oh my god. It's all right, don't worry, because we've got Amy next. She's equal. 
Amy's epic, isn't she? Uh, yeah. Anyway, the governor's second action, he's going to make noise, so he's going to draw a walker in. What kind of noise is he going to make? A.U. A.U. Walker. The, the Savit. <laughs> um, that was Dead Scouse, that. That was Dead Scouse. The powerhouse that is the Aimster. Oh. Uh, yeah. In her gory clothing, though, so she can't really oh, you put her in gory clothing? Yeah, I'll put her in gory clothing, so she is just going to make a forage move. Just here, because that was so effective in our last one, the gory clothing. I love it. So she's just going to skirt along the outside you of the You should just run her up to get the objective. I should, but Michonne needs something to bounce off in combat, so can't be killing Johnny Rotten. I think that one behind the wall, which you can't see with the camera, would probably come in. But... That's a good tip there, Paul. I'm sure the audience will appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to the last activation of the first turn. It's the big man, Negan. So, no surprise, really. Negan needs to play whack-a-mole. I'm going to run him over here. Which will draw this walker in. He wants as many targets as possible for that big swing. Yes. So we're on to the event phase. Event phase, Paul. Event, event phase? phase? Event phase. What have we drawn? Romas. So we are in the all quiet and low threat level. So we each move one eligible walker. So I had priority here, didn't I, mate? You did. So I've got uh, a six inch shamble available to me. Mm -hmm. And I am quite simply just going to move this walker here just to shamble to this position here. Into bright. How about you, sir? Um, I am going to reposition the camera and then walk my walker. Um, no, actually, that one there in the uh, Johnny Rotten. Yep. Move him away from Michonne. Oh, which way? That way? Yeah, yeah, back towards the car. That's very mean of you. Thank you. Right then. Okay, so we've added plus one to the threat tracker, so we're still on all quiet on level two. Michonne is going to go first. You've taken away a bouncing target here, so she's got two blue dice with her katana. Trying to chop this dude in the face. She successfully chops, but not murders. Mm -hmm. So down. push away and a knockdown for him. Lovely, beautiful red beam designs counter. Plug, plug, plug. Um, and then Rick is going to take on this half a walker. So he's got uh, two white dice with his hatchet and he gets red because Carl is in his melee zone. One for me. So yeah, it's, it's very, very... Dead. It's now not half a walker, it's just no walker. <laughs> um, so then we will go over to your combat to make. Yes. Okay, so first combat we're going to do is going to be Derek and this walker here. In the, the left walker of, uh, right of the rolls a one. And I roll a one as well off camera. So it's a draw and just pushed away. Yeah, just pushed away. Uh, we will go on to br uh, the governor and that walker. So I've got a white and a blue. Three. One and three, so you win, and that is a knockdown knocked down walker. So I'll just pop that next to it. And then yeah, the big man. The big man. So I've got three red dice here because of the ganging up on the walkers. Yeah, so you've got a bucket. A bucket, so any crit, uh, I get to roll an extra white dice. Oh. I roll two. And I don't you need it. Kill both. Kill both. Boop. That is a hefty, hefty, mighty swing there. It is indeed. So what we'll do is we will sort out the prone walkers off camera, see if they get up, and yep. we'll go to the kind of next side on view. And this is how things look at the start of the second turn. This walker here decided to be very rude and stand back up despite having a limb lopped off by uh, Michonne. Uh, you've got the first activation of this turn, haven't you, mate? I have, yes. We're going to see what the baddies can do next. Mm -hmm. So, top of turn two, I've got Craig, my nifty runner, around the corner here, who is going to run round. Already measured it. Craig the nifty runner. Craig the nifty runner. I'm sure Usain Bolt always aspired to be a nifty runner. Usain Bolt's got nothing on Craig. As you know, it's Craig. Craig, Craig, uh, Craig is the man. Um, and this walker is going to hear the running. The niftiness. So the, the noise, nifty alarm. The noise the a... walk has turned into a turkey, Tom. <laughs> it's Christmas special, there we go. <laughs> Christmas special, okay. Um, and I'm going to search this, and I get ammo reload. And ammo reloads. Has he got any guns? Uh, no. Does anyone have any guns? No, not really. Perfectly useful then, Paul. Perfectly oh. useful. It is another victory point for me. Hey, back to me then. Over to you, buddy. Nice and easy activation here. Rick has kind of secured these supplies in the back, so he's going to leave that to Carl or Laurie to kind of get. He's just going to make a sneak action, just moving like a little Ricky ninja. A little Ricky ninja. Just underneath our Pokemon. Hello. Uh, just to there. And the walkers will see nothing. 
Okay, so quick activation for me. Sandra, my other sneaky runner, is going to sneak and search, and I've pulled more bandages. A oh, bandages for the win. Which means there's more chance of a lurker being in there for you. Okay then, so Amy is not going to draw a lurker, Paul. She is going to move sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Just to this little objective here. She's going to pick it up. And it is going to be... Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. <sighs> lurker. 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 Surprise, surprise. Two red dice then, mate. Yeah, let me go. Yep. I've got one to defend with. Amy, oh no. Oh no, kill it. Oh, oh two damage. damage. That knocks her down to literally two health. That is not happy. Um, but Andrea's I'm, screaming in the back. She's like, you idiot. <laughs> but I have got a VP on the board, so I'll uh, I'll take that. Um, that's 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 not good at all. That's great. Right. The attack is subject to the bitten rule, but you didn't roll one. Uh, increase the threat level by one and discard the card. So we are on to threat three, mate. Yes, we are still not quiet. Over to the baddies. So poor Amy, bitten. Yeah, she is bitten. Actually, we've just reread the card. That's that's. She's gonna die. Probably. She got what? Two, two health. Two health points left. Bad times. Yeah, I imagine so. You could always amputate a leg. Just have Rick walk up to her and just chop yeah. it in bits. Is that like? <laughs> Your go, mate. She isn't gaudy clothing, so whatever. Um, anyway, me, uh, just a quick activation. I'm just going to have Derek pull this walker in, um, or, well, walk into him. Give him a little snug. Give him a little snug. Um, and that is the end of my action. Over to me then, and after Amy now is like kind of crawling on the floor in sadness, uh, Laurie's just going to sneak. Just to hear and see what's boo -trap. shut up and see what is in this. She gains a boo -trap, boo -trap. hunting knife, which means she's actually got two knives now. She's like some sort of like ninja. She's got a small knife and a hunting knife. So Rick was a ninja before, and now Lottie's a ninja. Now a ninja. It's meant to be a little baby Carl with his hat. You already know he's a ninja, Paul. I hate Carl. So uh, that is two VP now uh, stocked up to your three so far. Yes. See how we get on next. Okay, so my activation, I'm just going to run the governor to here, just over the other side of this walker, which will pull in this walker here. You are on cleanup duty in these activations, just pulling them in one by one. This is tactical play here. I was not expecting this, I was expecting like, you know. Screw. I've got some grenades. Oh, okay, a, <laughs> the real pool will come out shortly. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Andrea's up next, and after watching her little sister get nibbled by a cardboard box, she wants some revenge against the walker, so she's going to line up her bow and have a ping shot at Baldy here, who's trying to annoy Michonne. So I've got a white dice and two red for my shoot from my bow. And he, he dead. He's dead, no point roll. He very dead. Uh, so I'm going to check out ammunition. Oh, it's reliable though, so she can reroll. Oh, oh no. That is awesome. That Andrea is useless. For she's she's going to need like an ammo dump. So, because of that, she's just going to move up to there. Now she's completely out of arrow. She's done a Lara Croft little impersonation. <laughs> uh, sad face. So, for me, Patrick is going to assist the governor by sneaking over here. And now that the governor's within his kill zone, I'm going to do a swap item and give. The governor, some bandages. Give him a little cuddle. Give him a little cuddle. Yeah, just in case you need that. Just in case. Yeah, you, uh, you look after yourself. I like how Patrick is like the premier kind of bandage. Do you think he's not actually finding bandages? He's every just finding like single... clothes. He's just really good at yeah. making tourniquets. Yeah, every single game I'm like dishing out bandages with Patrick. Bandage can He's like the Andrex puppy. <laughs> New nickname. With a baseball bat. With a baseball bat. You're going to love this, Paul. You are going to absolutely love this. Carl is going to make a walk action to here. He's going to attempt to get on the truck. Why? <laughs> if you watch the last battle report, you'll understand why Carl has climbing issues. Yeah. So 50-50 die. And, it and he, 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 he can't do it. He was going to stand on the truck and pew pew, but sadly, he can't. Why can't he climb? He's got no hops. <sighs> he's got no hops. Baby Carl. Yeah, can't basketball. He's, he's just no jumpy, no jumpy jumpy. <laughs> Got no Never mind. Never heard that gangster saying before. It's because I'm ghetto, bro. Okay, so for me, it's going to be Negan, and he's just going to sneak 
into these objectives here. What Negan player plays objectives? You are disgraceful. I'm on a, I'm on a losing streak. Oh, I'm I see how it is. This. So it's like... I, I don't think it's so much a losing streak as like victory has been taken from your clutches at the last minute. Yeah. What's and, he got anyway? And hopefully this won't happen this day. Um, so that's put me up to 4 VP and I've got a 2x4. Because Negan's really going to want that. With Lucille yeah. on the horizon. I've got Michonne left then, so I'm, we all... Yeah, I'm not going to equip that. He's just going to chuck it in the bin. Chuck it in the bin. Michonne then. Easy one for me. Michonne is quite simply going to walk up to this walker and get ready to cut some stuff up. So we are on to the event phase, Paul. So what event are we going to draw? I hope if I hadn't left her over the other side of the room. Yeah, he's just, he's just doing a lap of the table. We have got... The hunger. The hunger. So plus one to threat immediately, which puts us into low threat now. Yeah. Each player moves one eligible walker towards the nearest survivor. So we'll do that off camera in a second and be back. Okay, so I moved old man walker that was here into Michonne. So I just chucked one into the governor in spite. Fair enough. So we're going to go with the combat stance. You've got priority, mate. So we feel like with Derek, who's wrestling with this walker. It looks like they're touching hands. I know. Lovingly. It's like, get back, you. Yes. So that walker rolls. Nothing. Nothing. And Derek has a white dice. And he rolls a one, so pushes successfully pushes and knocks him on his bum. Knocks him on his bum as he's beaten him. Now we've got the so governor who's in a sticky situation now. He's got two walkers on him. So three red dice. Go on, you roll yours first, mate. So you got a blue. One's dead. One's dead. And no, nothing. So which one would you like to kill? Uh, they both get pushed away. Either, but way, either or, it doesn't make a difference. Say, old man, he, he's lived a good life. Yes. A, gift, a good zombie life. Um, so Michonne, you've got three dice there for those walkers. She's got two blue that she's after. Oh, well, she, they're, they're well both dead, very yeah, dead. Very dead. Well done, Michonne. Uh, she could bounce, but there's no one. You've tactically removed my bouncing target there. Oh, yeah. Um, so we need to... First of all, I'm just going to check to see if Amy's bite... Kills her. ...is going to murder her. Well, she'll be dropped down to one health. Oh, yes, sir, yeah. Uh, no, she's fine. She's okay. Uh, see if this walker stands up. You can. He, she does. And this one here. Does as, well. Does as well. So we've right. got oh. walkers yeah, who are, yeah, they're, they're all looking at the governor with uh, hungry, hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. Um, and I think it's my activation first, isn't it, as Paul croons you into the third turn. Easy one for me. Rick is just going to shuffle around to the other side of this bus station, pick up this clearly unattended object, which you really should never do at a bus station, but no, Rick's going to risk it. Not. And it's hopefully not going to have a grenade or anything nasty in it. He has got a tire iron, which of course he needs more melee weapons, so that's going to go in his pack. Because <laughs> uh, he's already got his hatchet to choppy choppy. He's also got his handgun as well, don't forget. He has, but he's not going to use his handgun yet because he's in the middle of a lot of walkers and that's <laughs> going to draw a lot of attention. So we'll see what the baddies do next. So Tom, remember to mention those grenades before? Paul's been really carefully measuring this because he's terrified of if this grenade comes back on him. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw a grenade. Governor's going to have the first go. So Governor's going to run. He's going to get to here. Which will make some noise. Which will create noise. Which will pull in this walker here. To call him by his name. Johnny Rotten. Johnny Rotten. And he's going to bump into that barricade there. And then you're going to chuck... Oh, chuck a grenade at Michonne. So centred on Michonne. Six inch range. Dead set. So you've got to roll... Put a little bit... A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, little bit here. Are we go. Yeah, yeah. Just so right. it definitely doesn't bounce back on me. So, how grenades work. You take your shoot value. And a grenade gives you two red dice. It's a blast, one use. Do you roll there? Yep. So if I roll a crit... It'll hit. It hits, and then you've got to roll your defense dice against whatever everything is. If you don't roll a crit, I get to move it three inches. Three inches, basically, yep. And that's oh, a crit. Oh, it's a crit. So, so effectively, it's five damage. Five damage. So Michonne has got two red dice on her defense. She rolls two, so she take three damage. three damage. I do have a lucky charm, though, so I'm going to spend the lucky charm to re-roll one of these, which might be a mistake. Uh, it's oh. immediately a mistake. So she takes four damage. One, two, three, four. Puts her down to two health. And, and causes mayhem. Causes mayhem. So the threat tracker goes up. It does. We're on to six. And we will pull in all the gribblies. Yeah, we'll cut back in a sec. Love grenades. I don't. <laughs> grenades make me sad. Yeah. Um, I think they're an awesome mechanic to the game. 
Thank you, Ronnie Wren. Yeah, okay, actually, I think we don't need more of the minute. <laughs> Ronnie Wren's have insisted on there being lots of grenades. So, who have you got next? you got Negan, yeah. mate. Negan. So, Negan's going to do what Negan does. Uh, he's going to make noise, first of all. He's going to get stuck in. Yep. So, making noise, we'll pull in this walker here. And then, I'm going to... It's a very tactical play. You really are going for the win here. Run round with Negan, which will draw in this walker. Oh, I see. We're leaving space for Patrick to potentially... Uh... To potentially sneak in and save the day. Ooh. Uh, over to you, buddy. Nice cheap little Amy activation for me. I think she is quite simply just going to mosey across the road here, nursing her poor little bite wound. Tells a lot both ways. Tells a lot both ways. In case it's a lurker. Oh dear, bad times. Okay, so my activation is going to be the big man Derek. He's going to run past this walker to here. And he's going to draw this walker in to here. It just stays outside of his melee range. Just taking it for a walk. But yeah, basically br bringing it in so that Patrick can possibly run round. And that is now the nearest walker to the objective. Oh, tactic tactics. Tactic tactics. Right, Andrea, seeing the chaos that's going, has kind of just thrown her bow to one side because she's literally not going to need it. So she's just going to make a four inch little sneaky sneak behind Sis just to there, just to kind of evaluate what is happening in the carnage, which is just Negan's torrent of close combat pain. I like that you're getting them all close together. Perfect for a blast template. Perfect for a blast template. If only you had like another grenade. If only. Okay, so simple one for Patrick. We just measured this out from his base, how these widgets work. Really cool. Base to the back of the base. Yeah, it's really useful. It's awesome. Um, and Patrick's within range to run round here. Nearest walker's just going to dodge into Just going to be Derek. straight into Derek, as I planned. Just Five as point. planned. VP for What's stage. it going to be, then? So... Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good noise. That was a good noise. What have you drawn? Is it a lurker? Uh, is it better oh, than a lurker? Can I swap it for a lurker? <laughs> is, it, is it a template-based item? Oh, booby trap. booby trap. So what am I rolling, mate? Just what am I rolling to hurt you again with that card that you just drew? Yeah, so you over. You, you're rolling a white and a red dice. Yeah. And it's subject to the blast keyword. So you need a crit. No. Nope. And you don't get it, so I get to move it a little bit. Do you bit. get to move it or do I? I get to move it a little bit. You're the active player. Oh, I don't know. Searching the model suffers a ranged attack with a white, red, and the blast keyword. Should we 50-50 it? Make well, life easier? We'll just double check the rule on the blast. I, I think that it should just hit me because it basically opened it, but we'll just check the rule and we'll come back in a second. Okay, so we weren't 100% sure when it comes to the booby trap, so we're just going to leave just it where it is. Blast here, so it's two damage, so you need to roll defence. So I've got a defence for Patrick, which is... Oh, two red dice. Two red dice. Actually, not that. So you've got some space there, mate. Um, he rolls it's okay. two. Uh, this walker here um, is one. It takes damage. Takes two damage, yep. Yeah. And that walker there takes damage. Yeah. A little blow it Um I don't I think it's just damage with it being walkers. I think you need the headshot to kill them. So. No problem then. No so problem. booby trap, you still get the points though. Five victory points in the bag. Risky one. <laughs> <laughs> I trust that one to be the booby trap. Yeah. I've like got one that I can get here and one that I can get over there and I've yeah, got the no, I'm gonna, map. Get the, gonna get the five points. What a six gun bag has walked all the way to the centre of city centre and inside a duffel bag just put like grenades. <laughs> Negan. Yeah. How cinematic is that? That's that awesome. Good, like? Right, whoever that six gun bag was, uh, that's disgraceful, just grenades in a bag. Anyway, my little tactical shifty manoeuvring will make sense in a second, because Carl is quite simply going to stand there, and he's going to hand his revolver over to Andrea, so she has a gun. Ooh. And there, that's it. Good idea. So, I've got sneaky, sneaky Craig, nifty Craig, I'm just going to run him. Nifty shifty Craig. Nifty shifty Craig to here, which will draw in this walker here, who will shamble into the barricade. Poor walkers, smashing their shins on everything. You know, stupid walkers. So, aware of the potential grenade issues that might befall me, <laughs> <laughs> Laurie is just going to make a sneak just around to the other side of this car, so she is well wedged in cover. Nice, secure, like a warm, metal, blood-covered blanket. Graphic. 
Last activation is going to be the sneaky Sandra. She's driving me mad because she's making us do weird tripod things because she's on the bloody edge of the table. <laughs> so she is just going to run to there. And there is a walker, walker behind the here, just getting nudged in off camera. Yeah, that's me done. Event phase then, mate. Yes, and we have drawn too quiet. Too quiet. So plus one to the threat level. So, so we're on eight now. Eight. Uh, and we are still in the all quiet, so we add another one. We're low threat. Yep. Another one. Yeah. We're up to nine. Oh, sorry, we're on low threat. Yeah, so in low threat, add plus one. So we're on medium threat now. We are. Nine. Yes. And there is combat. There which is. Which we're going to swipe in a second, so we will be up to ten. So it's starting to ratchet up now. It is. It always picks up towards the end game. So we'll go back to the fighties. So, onto my combats here. You've had um, Craig at the back, who's being grabbed. We'll come to him in a second. But... Rick has got two white dice. He's going to try and take out this walker here. He rolls two successes and you roll two with a bite. Yes. So you win that. And you are bitten. And I am bitten. That is another person bitten. Sad face. And then Michonne is going to see if she can behead Johnny Rotten. Nothing. Oh, well, she still hasn't killed anything. God damn it, Michonne. Anyway, go to your combats. Okay, so very... Very precarious. The Living on the edge. Of the, uh, the board here. You can notice the lovely mahogany table that we have uh, <laughs> set this game up on. Um, I've got Craig with just one red dice. Um, oh, two and a crit. Oh, one. So he pushes the walk away and knocks it down. Kills it. Headshot. Kills it, oh yeah. Just destroys it, deletes it with his little shiv. Damn, oh, man. He should be stuck in the middle. Oh, we'll see how the bruises do. Over to the big man then. Yep, so Negan... Uh, Red and blue, and two white blue seal. Bucket of dice, three dice for the walkers, two and a bite. Did they actually succeed? Three and a win. Oh, oh if only. And then you've got one on Derek here. Yep. Walker Derek. rolls one. And Derek has a white dice. Two. Two. Pushes them away. He's had a nightmare with that walker. <laughs> okay. So there is tons of pushes here and knockdowns. Yeah, so that's everyone knocked down, isn't it? Yeah, right. and we will we'll do the bites and the seeing who gets up off camera, and we'll go to the top of the next turn. Yeah. So this is what? This turn three, four? Four, we're on to now. Yeah, so turn four, this is what it looks like at the start of the game. We've got a massive scrum in the middle. All the walkers got up, sadly, apart from one. Yeah, Amy took damage from a bite. Rick She's was on okay. one health. One health, poor Amy. Rick was okay, and it's, it's in the centre of the board again, isn't it? It's cagey. Yeah, thing is, we haven't really left our own half of the board. No, we're kind of working our way into the middle, aren't we? Yeah. Um, the grenades. Always an off put, aren't they? Who are you going to go first, then? Uh, I think I'm going to activate Patrick first. Okay. Okay, so first activation is going to be Patrick, and considering he's holding a five point objective. And he is definitely within... He's got swing shards range. of a five-point objective. He's got shards of a five-point objective stuck in him, yeah. Um, and he's definitely within swing and range of Michonne. I'm going to get out of there. Protect the victory points. Boop, 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 boop. You are so tactical in this game. I know. What's, what's wrong with me? It's going to pull this walker in, yep, though, because so she's going to be interested. Yep. So that was run. It's going to pull that walker in there. And then it's over to you. Right, I'm going to have to go for Guts and Glory here. So Rick is going to make a four-inch sneak. Just to there. And that puts him within 10 inches of Patrick and he's going to bust a cap in him. Oh. So you've got a barrier in the way so you do get an extra red die. Yep, so you've got, got two defence dice. Roll of room there, mate. I've got two blues for my shot. Oh, it's Ooh, not bad. Nice. Four damage. Yep. So I've got two red dice basic for defence and next one for the barrier. Two, two so you take two, two damage. damage. And that does cause mayhem. Which puts us up to 11. And we will reposition the walkers in a second and cut back. And with the power of editing, you can now see that Rick is well and truly... Dinner. Dinner. Yeah, he, he's, he's not going to do well. It's going to be like what? seven dice, I think, or something ridiculous. Yeah, one, three, six, ten. Ten dice. Good times. Going to have to break up that combat in a second. <laughs> Over the law, really. Yeah. Okay, right, so my activation is going to be Craig. Um, done so much damage the last turn. I've got faith in him now probably going to get eaten he's getting much so, done ignoring the wobbly camera at the present moment I'm going to run to there which will create noise and draw in that walker which means I now can't claim that objective 
Easy peasy one for me. Amy is not going to freak out because she's within Andrea's kill zone. She is very kindly just going to take off her gory clothing because she's about to become a walker, hand it to her big sister, and then meander just backwards here to go and die alone. <laughs> okay, so it looks like you're targeting Patrick. I'm panicking now. It's like I've actually got to try and chase points. Yeah, um, so I'm going to try and get some more. I'm going to sneak Sandra on there if you would kindly move her. And she's going to search that objective on top of the tank. And I've got, would you believe it, more bandages. Hey, your favourite item, Paul. You could do with these. I really could. Um, so she is carrying two. Um, Patrick has got his maximum. And yeah, it's over to you now, mate. Right, I'm really not getting the same mileage out of Michonne as you did in the last game, <laughs> mate. She's really not doing it for me at the moment. Um, she is quite simply going to walk into Mr. G so run into Mr. Governor, which will grab this walker's attention with the noise and have that walk in as well. So we've got Governor Sandwich. Nice. Michonne's just going to die badly, but we'll try. Yeah. Okay. A uh, little simple activation for me, just because I know Andrea's going to take a pop shot at me to make that a bit more difficult for you. And I'm just going to move Derek to there, just to protect Patrick a little bit. With his body. With his body. So you can only shoot the Derek unless you move to get a better line of sight. Oh, tactics. Tactics. Right, Andrea's going to step up. She is going to have to make a bit of a sneak, so she's going to go up to this cover here and shoot over it very cinematically. Okay. Pew so pew at Negan. I do get another white dice. Not if she's in base contact, oh, in she base fires base over it. Uh, so now she's got the handgun that Carl very kindly handed her. She's got two white and a red for her shooting. You've got two white on your defence, haven't you, mate? I have, yes, and eight health points. Oh! That's a lot of damage. Come on, Negan. Oh, oh so that's three. five going. So three go through. Yeah, three go through. Unfortunately, her clinical file won't kick off because she's not killed anyone. Uh, but it will cause mayhem, which pushes us up to 12 on the threat tracker. It's needing down to 5 hit points. And it will basically cause these two walkers here. And this one. And we'll walk around. Just to move around there. And go back to you, mate. Good shooting. Good shooting. Can't believe you shot Negan. I can't believe you forgot that Craig's a wuss. Yeah. I've just remembered. Yeah, yeah. So Craig was on low nave and we have just rolled for it and we just got a one action. And one he action. Got one action. So, so fine. he's fine. What's the big man going to do now? He's just had a bullet in the face. <laughs> he's just been carled. Just going to get into Michonne. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably the smart yeah, So I'm just going to sneak in to engage Michonne. Ooh. Which will break this combat up in a minute. Is Laurie still in camera shot over here? Uh, yes, but where you want to put it isn't. I'm just going to move Laurie just round here then. Just waiting for Rick to die. All right, okay. That's cool. it. That was. So we're going to the event go. phase. So event phase, Paul, what have we drawn? We've drawn Romers. Romers. So we we roll blue, we one blue dice, and we get to move that many eligible. And there aren't many left. So I think I've got priority here. So I'm going to roll two and move two eligible walkers. So you get first pick. Uh, I am going to move this one there. Surprise, surprise. Just to break that combat off. Okay, and I am going to move... Hmm. I'll move this one down here away from... So the one that's near Craig, yeah. just off camera, he's going to shamble away. Uh, I'm going to move another one. I'm going to move this walker just to there. Oh, yes, sorry, I forgot we had two. Move two each, then. And you got another one, mate. Oh, that's not fair. You can send Johnny Rotten into Rick to just really finish the job. Yeah, or I'm, send him into Laurie. I'm worried about the amount better on Negan now. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're getting precious over Negan now, he's taking some yeah. damage. Uh, yeah, I'll move this one into Johnny Rotten just to try and cement the death. Ooh, right. I don't think I even rolled the ammo. Did I roll a headshot against Negan? Uh, yeah, three damage. Didn't roll the, head, the ammo for it, did I? Yeah. So. Oh, she's ran out of ammo again. Oh, well. Never mind, there you go, that makes you a bit happier. So we'll go to the combat. So Rick's gonna die. Potentially, yeah. 15 red dice are rolling here. Yeah, if we've worked it out right. Don't worry, I have a white dice and I roll two. Success, I'm okay. So I'm just gonna roll these five at a time. <laughs> that's a handful of dice. First five. Uh, that's three damage. Yep, yeah, so that's uh, you're down one wound. So second five. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's, 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 he's very, very, very much. So even if it was only 10 dice and we made a mistake, 
He's definitely dead. He's, he's, he's that's, well. pro- that's probably the best role I've ever done. He is well dead. <laughs> uh, right then, so Michonne is joined with the Walkers to go for Negan. So we've got two blue dice from a katana and three red dice so for the walkers. A blue and a red and two white. It's white there, mate. Okay, yep. okay, so I'll roll here, you roll there. No headshots from you. Five for me. Uh five for me. I ignore one point of damage in melee. So So I do I win? Let me sit. Deegan deducts one point of damage inflicted against him. No, so it's when the damage goes through. So it's even, so it's a draw. A draw. So everyone backs away, everyone's like, okay, we see how it was. We see. He should have gone for the governor personally. Governor's going against the walker now, isn't he? Yeah, uh, governor's got a white. Walker rolls one red. Sorry, governor's got a blue and a white. So he's got a hatchet. Forget about that. And he pushes and knocks it down. Cool. Combat has made the threat tracker go up to 13. So we are on the cusp of high threat, which means everyone is going to be panicking a lot. <laughs> uh, so we'll do the walk and see if they get up afterwards. See if Amy dies from her bite. Rick won't die from his bite because he's been bitten to death. He's dead. And we're we'll back in a set. Okay, so top of turn five. This is a uh, took some time. Don't envy your editing this, mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. Bad yeah. times as well because Rick died. Amy died from her bite. So yeah. just. Exploded so, confetti of objectives everywhere. So Amy's come back as a zomble. Yeah, I've got one point so far to your gazillion. Yep, yeah, so I'm on one, two, three, four, nine, ten. Good ten times. Objectives. Good times. Not so you, you've got the first activation, all the walkers stood up. Yes, yeah, so all the walkers got back up. I've got first activation, and I'm simply going to tie you up. So the big threat. Is Michelle. So that robs me of an activation. It does, yes. And you haven't got many left. No. <laughs> does a does a Carl want to get stuck in? Carl's got his hat. You better fear it. I do fear Carl's hat. Right then, it's that unfortunate position where I've literally looked across all of my cards and have no means of inflicting damage or of gaining objectives because they're all over the other side. And with ten points on you, mate. Yeah, you're gonna have to kill to my one Patrick, who I'm gonna protect like anything with Negan still left left to activate. So I've got the shame of having to concede. My little baby Carl and Andrea are just gonna just gonna back away. Laurie can weep over the corpse of her husband. And I'm afraid, handshake on camera, that is a victory to you. You've broken your walking dead curse with an emphatic win. Yes. Emphatic. So we'll go to the post bat interview. Yeah, that's the shame of having to concede on camera. Oh, that was harsh, man. There's nothing I could do. There was nothing. There really wasn't. It's so, you played that so well in the early turns. And on yeah. the bigger map, to you expected carnage. The, the objective setup was sort of in my favour. There was a lot down the wings. Yes. So, and I had quick characters that could run round. So, but I realised too late that I was going to have to pour some hurt into Negan. It's because the walkers were in the middle. Yes. Trying to pour damage into Negan or the governor. It just feels like a wasted yeah. activation. Yeah, the, the, the tough in their own right. The, Negan and the governor, like we said this just, just after we finished recording, you, you said that the, the tanks, yeah. basically, the, the, the baddest of the bad, so they need to be a little bit overpowered, because the rest of the, the bad guys, are the, the crew effectively, are yeah. unnamed extra cast members. Or extra bods are just the, the crap. They're just, they're, they're, just, they're just there. They're running cannon out, fodder. Running out of ammo twice hurt with Angela yes. as well. That really kind of it just happens. It's the way they roll sometimes. Yeah. It would be nice to have that bow for an extra round. Mm. Pick off a few walkers, then have Rick go in. Yeah, I think the thing is picking off the walkers. I was I was very clever about what I'd done. I knew Patrick's going to collect. Rick, um, and you were manipulated by making noise. Yeah. I've, that's something I've learned in this game, like making noise to pull in, especially when you've got tanky characters that can just smash yeah. them. It'd be a good idea to make noise with Michonne, drag them to her, uh, rather than her getting into She got to the middle of the battlefield. I was like, I was like oh, oh, oh no, there's all these guys here that yeah. can absolutely murder me. See, Michonne's great in one-on-one combat. Did not that's why the, the, the bounces. No, no, yeah. they didn't. No they kills. Didn't. Yeah, the bounces, that's what I've used in the past. The bounce, bounce, yeah. attack, bounce, bounce, attack. And it's all been about manipulating the... But I've played this a lot more than you have, in all fairness. So I've just, I've worked out the crew build and stuff, and I've worked out the what to do, when to do it. Yeah. So the early turns, like, if you watch our first Evan Battle report with Mantic, we're sussing it, was, it. Yeah, it was all in, guns blazing, yeah. and the threat tracker ramped up. This, the threat tracker stayed in medium. 
The threat tracking didn't go up until you wanted it to go no. up. I think that, that's the way the control goes. But speaking of crews, one thing we have learned for this, we've done the All Stars matchup now. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to do specific crews against yes. each other. So we're thinking about having Herschel's farm. Yeah, so we've got everything Walking Dead. It just needs painting up. We're going to have the Green Family. Prison set. We're going to have the Prisoners. So if there's any matchup you would like to see. The gov yeah, the Governor Woodbury characters. Let us know. Because these heavy hit characters, they are great as it is, but what you want is well, one good leader on each side, yeah. and then some odd bods, and then the carnage can reign. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been nice to see the synergy between the different characters. Yeah, because there's a lot of new, really cool rules. Yes, yeah, so we've got like the the prisoner, um, not the prisoners, the, the guys in the riot armour and stuff yeah. like that, who are just basically shield, chest plates, arm pads, legs, Isn't and they like just inmates as well. Down down like dice. Yeah, so you've got the inmates who all uh, work together and, and just bit of a nightmare to be honest. So that'd be really cool. So let us know which crews you want us to see and we'll be back with another match report battle report. Which you want us to play, not which you want us to see. I would like to see them before I play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy guys, bye.